Hi everyone, welcome to Reality Bites and hello to everyone at the AHC. My name is Christy Keswick and I am the owner and creative director at Stellius Bathurst to Wong. So I've been asked to talk to you today a little bit about our training program that we do here at Stellius Pappas. Um, what we do, how we do it, why we do it. Um, and I guess the evolution of how what we've done within our salon program has now transformed into what we're doing with our own education program, Flawless Education. So just gonna give you a little bit of an insight into all of that and yeah, I guess the reality of what we do and why we're finding it's working for us. So the first thing I wanna talk about is why we do what we do in training. It's one thing I started to notice with um, when employing seniors that we're having, you know, seniors applying and they would come in and do a trade test and their skill level just was nowhere near what my apprentice's skill level is. So I started to think and I guess that was that light bulb moment that made us realize that we were doing something really good within our salon is that why would I employ someone that's fully qualified that has less skills than our apprentices like why not invest more time into them and get them um, I guess moving onto the floor rather than yeah these seniors that were coming in that just didn't have the skill set that we expected with our standard in our salon. So just a basic rundown of our training program. We do a three year internal training program at the salon. They do still do their tape components and everything. Their you know, certificate three, they do that for Manners and Gray, who are fantastic. Um, but to me, that's a very basic standard to get your qualification. The skills and the training program we do within our in salon training is what's going to make our apprentices, you know, the best hairdresser they can possibly be. So how we run, we run a three year training program, six months of blow dry training, then we do two years of cut and color training, and then six months of advanced cut and color training. Um, why we start, and I guess do so long with our blow dry is I believe it's just a basic fundamental that they need to have Everyone, there are so many styling products, styling tools that are in the um, market these days that clients can do their hair at home. They can curl their hair themselves, they can straighten it. One thing clients can't do themselves is a big, beautiful blow dry. So that's something that I feel really strongly about that our apprentices need to master before they can move on to their cutting and their coloring. Because essentially, once they've done their blow dry training and passed all their exams, their blow dry training, I know to finish off a haircut is just gonna be absolutely flawless. And that's a big thing that's I feel is gonna get clients staying in the salon because they have absolutely, they not only have beautiful haircuts, they have beautiful finishing. Um, <coughs> so with our training program, they do have to, I guess, pass exams um, before they move on to the next module. So starting right at blow drying, they have to pass um, long blow dry, short blow dry, curly blow dries, all of that before they move on to their cutting. From cutting, they then have to pass, you know, solid, short solid, all the different layers before they move on to each different, um, each different technique. Same with coloring. It's something that's really important to me that we don't rush them um, and move them on when they're not ready or they haven't passed, I guess, the skill before um, moving on because I feel if we rush them that's when they pick up bad techniques and bad habits and I don't want that to happen I want them to learn the best techniques from the start so that continues on right to the finish so when they are finished their apprenticeship they are highly skilled they are confident and they are ready to just go on the floor and build up an incredible clientele um, one thing I guess that I've been asked is what happens if those apprentices aren't reaching those benchmarks in their training? Um, yes, I feel it falls back on them because they have to want to do the train, they have to want to learn. It's expected that every Tuesday afternoon, um, non-negotiable, three to five o'clock, we do training. We Once the blow dry is finished, we alternate cut and color. 
um, each week they're expected to have their own models every week find their own models we don't help them with that that's where they need to take that initiative where the responsibility falls back on me and my education team is that I feel it's our responsibility that we get them to those levels and get them to reaching those benchmarks because we set those benchmarks so yeah I feel it's our responsibility that we make sure they reach them and if for some reason they're not reaching them let's work with them so they can reach them and then move along one thing that I love within our salon is our seniors are so skilled that we each have our own individual skill set so we incorporate all those skills in the training I take the color training my director L takes the cutting training and one of our fabulous seniors Tegan takes the styling training we're all good we all have an exceptional skill so let's I guess tap into that and share it with all our team rather than just one person doing the whole training. Uh, we also like to collaborate and we like to get guest artists in. That's a really important thing as well because I feel our press are really lucky. They get to experience our skills and see our skills all day every day. I also don't want them to get complacent with just us so that's where I want to bring in you know more motivation and inspiration outside of just <coughs> Our salon sorry I'm getting over being sick um, outside of our salon um, so that's something that yeah we really try and incorporate into the training program as well I just want to show you a little bit um, just quickly what I guess our manual looks like so they all get a training manual that's got everything um, all in there they have each training session they have to fill out head sheets color cutting because then at the end of their apprenticeship, they literally have these Bibles of every single training session they have done that they can go back on and keep revisiting and revising techniques and skills. And that's where I feel they're going to grow because we give them the fundamentals, which is so important. And then they can build on that and, you know, make their own techniques as they become seniors. Um, I guess that light bulb moment that our training program was working fantastic when we were noticing the skill um, shorties of seniors coming in is why we started our flawless education um, myself and Elle it's a fundamental education program I guess learning teaching the fundamentals of cut and color and teaching hairdressers to appreciate and why it's so important to appreciate those fundamentals um, to me fundamentals are non-negotiable you need to learn the skills and the right techniques from the start before you can move on to the creative um, advanced stuff and you need to appreciate those fundamentals so I guess that's what we teach in our salon training in salon and then that's why we've advanced it on to starting our own education um, I hope well, how we see it as is we're building the industry up we're making amazing hairdressers with amazing techniques and it's something that we're really really proud of and I guess we're very lucky that we can share this with our industry but I'm a big big believer in let's all collaborate let's work together if you've got a skill share it let's make the industry great and make the industry strong when it comes to skill set again so you know we don't have this problem of oh my god I don't have a senior that's good enough it's yes let's create them from within our salon and grow from within but the reality is hairdressers come and go and no matter how good you treat them people want change so if we're putting strong skill sets out there I can only hope that we're gonna get strong skill sets back when we are looking um, for those new seniors and everything to join our team so it is something, yes, we are very passionate about. I could literally talk about this all day because it's education and training program is something I so strongly believe in. Um, but I will leave that all for now. And thank you for AHC for asking me to um, talk about this today. And I hope you guys all got a little something or a little insight about the training program that we have at Stelly's Purpose to look to Wong and our flawless um, education. So thank you and see you later guys. Bye.